อมเมอร์เราเนี่ยนี่ไงตั้งมึงอยากได้โปสเตอร์ฟอร์มเมอร์เหม็นมันเดอะวาร์ส connecting the six lines into a circuit and we measure the voltage Have you ever know that uh, electricity can be generated from everyday stuff like a lamp? Here are all the equipment we need. Lamp. Hey. <laughs> uh, pieces of copper and zinc. Wires. มัลติมิเตอร์นี่ก็มีโตดเจอของแอนไนฟ์ we bring out the lamp then plunk the piece of copper and zinc into it so let's check out Well, how can it work? This piece of metal acts as electrodes, and the lamp acts as electrolyte. The piece of copper is cathode, and the anode is zinc piece. The electron flow from anode to cathode through the wire, while protons transfer through the citric acid solution in lamp. The exchange of electron is called redox reaction, which is include oxidation on the anode and reduction on the cathode. And now we are going to connect four lamps into series circuits to increase the voltage. So here we are connecting two lamps together as a series circuit, and we are going to check out the voltage. We change the multimeter into 2.5 volt in order that it will not be damaged. Here we got. Hello, hello. So now we have uh, six lamps. The voltage increased to 1.5. It means that each each lamp has uh, can create uh, 0.25 volt. It looks yummy. Okay, the other one. We are okay, going we were to going to test with this LED. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's check it out. We're here at the storage rooms. We are going to test the LED light. Okay, turn turn lights off. Three, two, one. one turn. Okay. Ooh, okay, wow! Okay, we will see the yeah. spot, the light. So it means it's working. Here? Yeah. Woo! Are you curious why we have electricity from a line? Let's see. Here we have a line which contains a juicy area inside. The juicy area is an acid which will work as an electrolyte. Electrolyte. An electrolyte is a solution which is a conductor. Electron can flow through an electrolyte. We compare a line to a gonic cell. Gonic cell is a cell that we connect two electrons into an electrolyte and we connect a wire above. The one that is copper has more voltage or E0 and zinc. The other one is zinc has less. The one that has more E0 will have reduction reaction. 
and the one that has less, there will be oxidation reaction. Electron will fall out from zinc. Zinc will lose its electron and we have zinc ion and copper will gain electron. That's why we have electricity in the line. 